We had wandered in the desert for a long time until we finally camped at the base of Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. This is my story of what happened when God spoke to us and gave us his commandments, his rules for our lives. Do not worship any other gods besides me. Do not make idols of any kind, whether in the shape of birds or animals or fish. You must never worship or bow down to them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God who will not share your affection with any other God. This is our camp. And there I am, coming out to feed the animals. And there's Jacob, my prize-winning bull, my most valuable possession. This story is as much about him as it is about me. Shaddy, Hannah, Rachel, Martha, breakfast. Oh, I better get you guys some water. Get out of my way. Me first. Why does he get to eat first? Oh, save some for me. We must share. Your share? <laughs> it's what's left. That was so mean, Jacob. Lighten up. I was hungry. That was supposed to be for all of us. No way, Gramps. I get more than that as a snack in Egypt. Why don't you go back to Egypt? I would if I could. In Egypt, I'm golden. I'm worshipped and adored as a god. There's only one god. Remember him? He's the one who gave Moses the power to part the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him around here lately, have you? Moses is probably talking to him on the mountain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think that Moses and God may have gone and left us in this burning hot desert? God is never gone. He is always with us, taking care of us. Oh, good. Then I'm sure he'll take care of getting you some food. Moses had been gone a long time. Food was scarce, and so was water. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry. He's trained. <laughs> He's incredible. He's the most amazing pet that I have ever had. I am Ephraim, and this is Ezekiel. But I call him Zeke. I'm Seth. What are you doing out here? I was going to get water from the stream, but it's dry. On the other side of the camp, near the mountain, you'll find Jethro's well. Oh, thanks. I'll see you later. I have fun with Zeke. I will. Who would not have fun with the greatest falcon in the world? Jacob, my calf, was definitely not as great as Ephraim's falcon. If I had a pet like that, then I would really be somebody around camp. Well, Hazaka, isn't it wonderful that we have water? Oh, amazing! Another miracle! In Egypt, we had the whole Nile. Ah, but we're not in Egypt anymore. Things were better in Egypt. As slaves? As slaves, we didn't have to wait in line for hours to get water. When are we all going to face the fact that Moses is gone? He's been up on that mountain for over a month, and he's not coming back. He's got a point, Boaz. That's true. He's probably not coming back. What will we do if Moses doesn't come back? Who will lead us? Hazaka, what do you suggest? I have an idea. Come with me. Let's follow Hazaka. Excuse me. Anybody know where Jethro's well is? Over there, little boy. Little boy? Huh. It was a daily occurrence that people would complain to Aaron, Moses' brother. He was in charge of everything while Moses was away. Mm. Here comes trouble. Oh, I just wish Moses would hurry back. How may I help you, my brethren? Aaron, we have a list of grievances. Ooh, 
that's quite a list. Uh, if you'll just leave it with me, I will review it and see what we can do. We are tired of waiting. We want action now. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, oh, what is your most pressing issue? What are you going to do about God? <laughs> Nothing. God can take care of himself. You can't expect us to worship an invisible God. We need a God we can see. We need gods like we had in Egypt. Made of stone or gold or jewels. These people and many others are seriously thinking about going back to Egypt. Uh, Miriam, what should I do? I must do something to keep them from leaving. No. The people want a leader. A man of decisions, not just somebody else's mouthpiece. True. All right, all right. Yeah, well, how about this? I shall make a statue. Collect golden rings and earrings from your wives and daughters, bring them to me, and, and I shall melt them down and make a great... Uh, a great... Mistake. God, you can see. Where have you been? I found Jethro's well. It's really close, just over there. Mom, I heard some people talking about wanting to go back to Egypt. Do you think Moses is really gone for good? Hmm. I don't know, Seth, but I don't think so. Then what's he doing on the mountain for so long? He's probably just enjoying a peaceful mountaintop experience with God. Have you fixed the fence yet? I'm trying to, Mom. Aw, oh, Hannah, stop it. <laughs> oh. Aw, <laughs> oh, Mom, it's not funny. <laughs> no. Well, it looks funny. I'm off to trade for some grain. I'll be back in a little while. So, while I'm gone, you're the man of the tent. <laughs> Excuse me, little boy. I'm not little. Oh, but of course, forgive me. I can see that now. Is your mother or father at home? My mom just left, and my dad is dead. Can I help you? Ah, well, perhaps. <laughs> I understand that you have a prized young calf. Jacob, over there. But he's not for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to buy him. We are looking to honor the best calf in the camp at a great festival. Such a great honor for his master, too. What would you want him to do? He would model, pose, and we would make a golden statue that looks like him. Really? Just like in Egypt. Interesting. Uh, sure. As long as he's well cared for. Of course. He will be the roast. I mean, toast of the festival. <laughs> and naturally, you will both become quite famous. Bring the little calf, and let's go see Aaron. Aaron himself? Wow! <whistles> Come on, Jacob! Excuse me, ladies. My fans are calling. They're not really going to make a statue of him, are they? I doubt it. No one can make a head that big. Hmm. Something doesn't smell right. Where is Amos? Why do you want that rat? I prefer rodent, if you don't mind. Amos, we need your help. Can you follow Jacob and see where they're taking him? And what do I get in return? How about we let you live? Okay, that's fair. Amos, go quickly. We're counting on you. More baubles for our golden god. Excellent work, Naomi. Oh, thank you, Hazaka. Come with me. Let us take the gold to Aaron. I am right behind you. Are you all right? Oh. I think 
think it's gone now? Well, Aaron, Boaz and Naomi have some of the gold that's been collected. Ahem. And here is the perfect model for your golden calf. Yes, he's a beautiful calf. <laughs> Wonderful. Then we will make plans right away for the festival. Oh, oh, festival? R right away? Oh. I've got to go tell my friend. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Where am I going to go? I am right where I always wanted to be. Aaron's going to build an idol made of gold. Quite the most astounding statue you could ever hope to see. No, he didn't choose a camel, goat, or lamb in the fold. He's modeling that idol after me. My name is Jacob. See me shine. Yeah, I'm what glitter, so I must be gold, and that's divine. Cause if I'm gold, people will come to worship me real fast. And if they worship Jacob, Jacob must be a star. Good life soon. Yeah, those who weren't my friends will change their tune. They'll know I'm Jacob. See me shine. Yeah, I'm what glitter, so I must be gold, and that's divine. Cause if I'm gold, people will come to worship me real fast. And if they worship Jacob, Jacob must be a god. Hello, Seth. Hi, Mahita. Amazing. Everybody knows your name. It looks like I have chosen my new friend well. Psst. Shaddy, you finally made it. We've been gathering firewood, Amos. Jump in my pack. We'll take you back to the others. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Very graceful. How's my calf? Oh, hello up there, Seth. Uh, Aaron knows your name, too? You must be the most popular boy in camp. Well, you can pick up your little Jacob this afternoon after the festival. Uh, now, uh, excuse me, boys. I, I am on quite a tight deadline. Be sure and tell everyone back at that pathetic little pen that the most important animal ever spoke to you. What? You know better than us. Oh, poor, poor Rachel. If you haven't noticed, I'm golden. I'm like a god. You are not god. Oh, but I am. Just ask anyone. Come on, Shaddy. Rachel, let's go. Now the golden calf will go there, and we'll sacrifice over there. You're going to kill the little bull, of course. Of course. After all, we need an offering. And the little boy? One offering at a time. <laughs> and this will be the high point of my career. The people will love me. I will become their leader rather than Aaron or Moses, <laughs> wherever he is. Go down the mountain. The people you have brought from Egypt have defiled themselves. They have already turned from the way I commanded them to live. They have made an idol shaped like a calf, and they have worshipped and sacrificed to it. Go. Music for the big party to celebrate your little friend. Jacob? Yup. 
He and the golden version of himself. I refuse to worship Jacob as a god. That is the smartest thing that anyone has said all day. Hey, don't worry. He's history. They're planning on sacrificing him. What? What? That's why they built the altar. I was afraid of that. Can we do something? I'm afraid it's too late. The festival is starting. Let's go. Let's grab Shaddy, and then we can see over the crowd. To our new god, O oh Israel, the god who brought us out of Egypt. Coins for our god! A tribute to the god we can see! <sighs> well, at least they stopped grumbling. Some of them. I think this is disgusting. Oh, my. Ha! Huh, look! There's Jacob! Stuck here in this dull and dusty desert. Our only company is lizards and snakes. Lost where no one can find us. Our homes are far behind us. So we're moving on whatever it takes. So much for that up in the sky god. We fashioned a god you can see. You don't have to moan, Moses left you alone. Follow me, follow me, follow me. No more stalling, come with me and find the promised land. Cause this wilderness and happiness don't mix. If you've hungered for a party, it's here, drink deep, eat hearty. Cause there's nothing wrong with you, I can't fix. Why go with a god in the distance? A faith you can touch is the key. You know what you hold with a god made of gold. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let us give a gift, a sacrifice to our new golden god. Ready for your big moment? Ah! <laughs> What's he doing? He said that he wouldn't hurt Jacob. Ah! No! Do you remember what the Lord commanded? Do not worship any other gods. Do not make any kind of idols. The Lord will not let this go unpunished. You, melt this calf in the fire. The rest of you, go back to your tents and pray for forgiveness. Aaron, come with me. What happened, Aaron? Moses, you, you, you know what an impatient group these people are. I had to do something when you were gone for so long. They wanted to go back to Egypt. Did you not see the miracles of God in Egypt, Aaron? These commandments are God's covenant with his people, written in his own hand. 
They must be obeyed. I am sorry, brother. Well, well, well. If it isn't our bullheaded little friend. It couldn't be that young bull who used to live here. Oh, no. He's too far above us to ever visit this dusty corner of the desert. Okay, okay. I made a mistake. I wanted everyone to worship me. Is that so bad? Yes! yes. Okay, I know that now. Mom, have you seen Jacob? I think your little friend has come home. Jacob! You are very lucky to get him back. Oh, Jacob, I almost lost you. But it was wrong to let him pose for an idol. I just did it because I wanted to have a popular animal like you. I guess I wanted to be... somebody. To make everybody think that I was more than just a kid with no dad who takes care of the stables. Seth, you are somebody. You are my friend. Thanks. I'm sorry. Can you guys ever forgive me? Yeah, I guess we still love you. Even if we don't like you sometimes. Just try not to make fun of us. Or eat all the food. And, and be kind to rodents. Rats. And never forget, God has given you a second chance to put him first. Okay, I promise. I'm a changed bull. There's only one God, no other idols. But do I really have to share the food? Jacob! Jacob. Just kidding.